Hi, this video is gonna be my most loved five products for the month of September and let's get started. For some reason this month I've been breaking out so I have a lot of skincare products that I've been trying to use to help my skin calm down from all the irritation and inflammation. To me, cleansing and taking off my makeup is a really important step in my skincare especially after reading Caroline Hirons' blog. One thing that Caroline Hirons really recommends is this Emma Hardy Amazing Face Cleansing Balm. Um, I'm not going to detail into this product because I have a blog post review on this. And it's basically a balm that's, and you can see some oil in there. Um, you just scoop a little bit, like, I would say like a dime or a nickel size onto your balm, massage it, and put it onto your face. And when it's in contact with your body temperature, it melts into this oil, which I really love. I love a oil makeup remover. So it actually removes the makeup really well. Um, but you definitely need to give it some time and really um, gently massage it onto your skin to remove and dissolve any makeup and it does remove waterproof makeup really really well if you um, give it some time to kind of do its thing. I don't have any problem with it leaving any residues on my skin so which I love because I don't like to use washcloth too often so it does rinse off really well and I'll link the review post down below so be sure to check it out because it's a really awesome product. Next is this Caudalie Fino Source Serum and this is a really light serum. It's nothing oily, it's nothing heavy, it's really light. My skin type basically change day to day. Sometimes I'm really dry, sometimes I'm really oily, sometimes it's just combination. But something that's always consistent is that I have dehydrated skin. And sometimes when I break out, it's because of dehydration. So it does do a really awesome job at really hydrating your skin, calming any irritation and redness. If you have extremely dry skin, I probably won't recommend this to you. You might need something richer or um, just use a richer moisturizer on top of this serum. The last skincare product is this lip balm by Nukes. It's called Le Rêve de Mie Lip Balm. This is an amazing lip balm. It has a matte finish. As you can see, it's not like super glossy or kind of jelly. And I've heard people say that you can put this under lipsticks, but I wouldn't do that. I normally put it before I go to bed so that um, it can do its work while I'm sleeping. Um, I wouldn't put it in the morning because I do find that it leaves residue. When I wake up, I will find like little white bits around my lips. So I wouldn't use it for daytime, but for nighttime, it's definitely a bedside table essential. Next, I have two makeup products to show you. The first one is from the drugstore and it is by Elme. Ooh. This is the liquid lip balm. This is actually um, a lip gloss that just feels really, really nice on the, on the lips. I am a lipstick wearer because I don't like how my hair gets stuck on the lip gloss and then it, it gets sticky and messy everywhere. But this is not sticky at all. It's very comfortable on the lips. Sometimes I feel like lip gloss can make your lips feel kind of burnt a little bit but this one doesn't do that at all and this on the lips feels so much better than a lip gloss and I have a review on this so I'll link it below it's I've heard people not liking this lip liquid lip balm because it doesn't give a really nice color payoff to me this shade is awesome because it looks really bright but I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now it's very because it's sheer so it's more wearable if you pick a brighter color so if you are interested in this formula this product I would suggest picking up a bright color because just based on how sheer it is I don't think the lighter colors will show up on your lips but it's really awesome because it feels really nice on the lips and if you don't like lip gloss I think you'll like this because it's not 
sticky. It just feels really nice and lightweight on the lips. And I'll show you a swatch. This is just one swipe. And I know it looks really opaque, but actually on the lips, it's a little more sheer than that. So this is a heavy swatch, and this is a sheared out swatch. And this will look more like how it is on your lips. Next is this Kevin O'Quan highlighting powder. It's, called, it's actually called the Celestial Powder in Candlelight. And it's basically a really natural highlighting powder it, it's just a really neutral um, highlighting powder it's not too pink it's not too beige it's kind of just um, a nice skin color what I love about this powder is that it's really natural it's not glittery at all and it just looks like you have really nice dewy skin or you just put on a really nice dewy foundation here is the swatch and it's not too pink or not too gold so it's really awesome for many skin tones as you can see it is very finely milled and it just gives a really natural glow I'm wearing it today on my cheekbones and it's definitely something that you have to be under a light in order to see it but it's just a really really nice highlight for every day and I just wanted to do a little comparison and I here I have MAC mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle and bare minerals luminizer in the love affair and both of these are really gold tone highlighters and love affair is I mean love affair is really finely milled but it's just very gold and intense that I feel like it can sometimes look a little unnatural here it is swatch next to celestial powder this is the bare metal ones this is Kevin O'Quinn so and this is Mac soft and gentle compared to um, Kevin O'Quinn right there here is soft and gentle. As you can see, it's definitely more um, shimmery, glittery compared to the other two. If you really like a strong highlight, I would highly recommend this. If you want a more natural highlight, then Kevin Kwan Celestial Powder is definitely a product for you. So that concludes this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye. highly recommends in that vlog is this Emma Hardy 